Country hunting for elk is like playing chess. Trying to do my best to not like try to push him or anything. Like we're just gonna wait. I hunt for the meat because that's what we live on on the road all year. And I hunt for the experiences. You know, we hike all morning and you finally get a bull to trigger. And it's like, hey, chess match is on. This one freaking branch, he would have kept walking. My mama told me, son, always be a good boy. Don't ever play with God. Well, you guys probably wouldn't be surprised to know that we're like 15 minutes late on the first elk hunt that Kyle is filming with us. If you watch any of the, uh, the fishing videos, he's usually the last one in the truck while he's just last one out of the tent this morning. So it's getting light. But we've got like three more days to try to kill a bull with our bow. We're gonna see what happens. We, sleep. we got here late last night, got the tent set up at like 1.30 in the morning. Went to sleep, got up about 6 a.m. We're gonna see what happens. This is a place I've hunted before. Uh, but it's been really quiet last night. It was quiet this morning. Hopefully some bulls start screaming at some point. Had a pistol in boots, blonde hair, dark roots. Says she got a old man, but I shouldn't be worried, though it seemed like she was in a hurry. Higher than a junkie drying out in the slammer, Lord, I hope I don't die. The biggest thing I've learned is just covering ground until you get around them. And then you can, like, slow down and try to make plays, but I haven't seen much for elk sign through here, and it's been quiet. I haven't heard anything yet this morning, so the sun's coming up, we're just going to keep working. Walking our way down, make a big loop. Well, it all seemed to be just fine. She was happy I could give it's, her. It's only like 10 o'clock, and I've already went through all my snacks. This is my last snack, and then I have a sandwich, but my last snack snack. Brandon has like a plethora of snacks. Pacificos in Mexico, 
now, Avon, Pacifico, and Montana. stopped on a place that I was thinking about going tomorrow and got a bull fired up screaming a little bit so we're gonna go chase him tomorrow so we can make happen but first we're gonna eat dinner and sleep really good the coffee of choice this morning and yesterday morning is the black rifle. This is your coffee shot. This is it's much different than in the camper, I must admit. It's actually pretty dang good. It is really good. Also, if you don't know, you know now, creamer with your coffee is essential. Those instant coffees, you need a lot of creamer, but not this stuff, that's good. Yeah, this stuff's good, just black. Oh. I mean, I wouldn't know, but. <laughs> the sun is just starting to come up. We heard that bull last night bugling somewhere up in here. Now, he could be a mile or two miles from here. It sounded like he was eight, nine hundred yards up from where we're at right now. We're just gonna start laying down some boot leather. At least we know there was a bull well in this vicinity. We just gotta go figure out where he's landing. Last night, he just pushed kind of around the corner and up in the head into this draw. Almost thought I heard it coming. That's him. It's close to distance. that distance but I had to shoot through some some trees I had one little opening at about 20 yards he came right where I thought he was going to he would have kept walking and my limb hit this tree limb and he stopped I, I took a shot and I, I felt like I got a decent penetration I am the hunter and I am the hunter but I don't, I don't know, it definitely hit him. Or, but I, I don't know how good the shot was. We're gonna give him some time. I don't wanna rush it. Let's hope. Yeah, fingers crossed. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah, we got blood. We shot the ball. We have blood. We couldn't see the shot on video very well. So we're just sitting and waiting. Trying to do my best to not like try to push him or anything. Like we're just gonna wait. And sitting here waiting is worse than sitting in the weigh-in line, waiting to find out if you're gonna win a derby or not. Like you're sitting there with your bag of fish, wondering if it's enough or not. Like this is way worse, way tougher to sit here and just like, you know, hopeful that you made the right shot, that things went good. And then you get to fill your freezer. Like it's just oh, so tough. I'm gonna start looking. It's been about an hour. I mean, I feel like that's enough time. Like if he bedded down, 
We're gonna start following this blood trail and just kind of ease our way through. Fingers crossed. And it, the blood turned right here and kind of started side hilling. Because when they're hurting, they don't like to go straight uphill. Started side hilling. I just I kept scanning up, scanning up. And I saw antlers kind of moving, so we stopped. We've just been sitting here watching, you can tell he's hurting, so. We're kind of just waiting it out right now. This is the, the hardest part about hunting, part of it. You just, it's part of it. We've been following the blood trail. Maybe 100 yards, not even 100 yards. We're just kind of following along where we last saw the antlers. I was scanning, I was scanning with my binos. And I just see the orange knock from my arrow sticking out behind this tree. I'm guessing he's laying right there. We're gonna sneak up there and just do the right thing, make sure, make sure he's done. I can see my orange arrow knock. See that part right there sticking out from the tree. regular food yet, but her first meat's gonna be elk meat when she can. That's pretty cool. Gosh, that's awesome. Now the work begins. <sighs> it's actually, it shouldn't be too bad to back out, but gosh. Man, dude, it's freaking A. <laughs> gosh, dang. <gasps> Holy cow, what a beaut. How are you feeling? Thankful. Just thankful. That's about all I can be, I mean, thankfully he didn't go more than 100 yards. It wasn't a long drawn out process. Thankful that we get to eat the best meat you can get for at least another year. It's pretty awesome. It's like all the hard work that you put into it. It's worth it. All the miles. Early mornings, late nights. It's pretty sweet. It shouldn't be too tough of a pack out. Hopefully. You're getting it pretty easy on your first one, but we're gonna start making our first trip out. It's freaking heavy. <laughs> Brandon, that every time I have an elk in the trailer, I'm gonna think of this pack right here, and it's gonna taste that much better. That's what I'm telling myself. It's gonna taste amazing. And Look. it's way better when you have to earn it. Yeah. And you didn't just go buy it. Yep. Is that a? It's an airplane. No, it isn't. That's literally a side by side. Why couldn't he be just a little bit later? Well, maybe I'll catch him. All right. Back. Uh, we have been saved by John, and he just saved us about a mile and a half, almost two miles of walking. He happened to show up on his four-wheeler right as we were hitting this road before we had to walk out. So he's graciously going to give us a ride back down to the truck. I'm going to grab the e-bike, rally back up here, and then we're going to go back in and get the rest of it. So we got lucky. John's the man. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Just glad you guys killed one. <laughs> there he is. That's further than you think. It doesn't, there's not much in here. Water. Water. There you go. Oh, you are a freaking saint, my friend. Holy cow. This is the best day ever. 
I'm sad it's almost over. I just mean like, like being out here. The meat, the meat that it provides is incredible, but the experience is like, I don't know. That's, that's like the other reason I hunt, right? I hunt for the meat because that's what we live on on the road all year. And I hunt for the experiences. And I like those feelings you get. It's no different than fishing. Like I do it for the feeling, like those moments. It's fun, it's rewarding, it's challenging. It makes you cry, it makes you angry, frustrated, happy, sad. It's like every emotion you could think of. This is the plan. Fingers crossed it works. I'm gonna be trying to sit <laughs> on the back while I'm holding the rest of my camera gear because my camera bag's on the front quarter and we're gonna try to get down this hill without dying. Also, I'm gonna be holding the camera with this hand. So, wish us luck. I'm definitely gonna die. God, if this works, I hope this works so bad. Everyone say a small prayer. <laughs> I can't believe that actually works. Oh my god, it works! <laughs> I don't know how we didn't just die that or pop good. a tire. Get you guys watching, following along. Hope you enjoyed something a little different on this channel a little hunting action we've got a lot of work to do here cutting so we're gonna get after it get this thing cleaned up processed thank you guys uh if you want to see more of these let us know hopefully we can keep doing some more hunting films uh if you guys enjoy it i know we're gonna enjoy it so catch you guys on the next one in your lives in sin and misery in the house of the rising sun. First time we're flying the drone. First time we're flying the drone on trip. Uh, Brian's already shot the bull. I'll show you the bull. Bull's back there. Seven o'clock. Bull's down before that. Get a few shots.